we're burning to restore the land, restore the resources, restore water. Today we're burning the red bud and sourberry, which is the three-leaf sumac. Both of them are dying and they need new growth and in order to get that, we burn it. Cultural burning is a traditional land stewardship tool employed by indigenous people all over the world. And it has a very strong history and contemporary practice in California. For the students to not only observe him as a land steward and to listen to his knowledge and the way he approached the work, but also to then be involved alongside him and to be guided by him in those methods really went even uh, beyond what I had planned for the class. Bringing you folks in the class from UC Davis gives us an opportunity to share with you our traditional ecological knowledge and practice see it firsthand. I keep telling everybody that for centuries when the Indians burned all the time, then they could, they could come through and do a broadcast burn underneath, burn all these sowberries <laughs> without burning these trees. There's no doubt that fire suppression is one of the leading causes for the fires that we're seeing today in California that are so uh, damaging to communities. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that uh, starting in the mid 19th century, but really in the early 1900s, native people were prevented from burning across their traditional homelands. And now we're just seeing the result of that policy. We started this morning with a blessing. We started this morning by asking all our relatives out here permission to come out here. I'm not out here to destroy them. I'm out here to restore and make new life the thing is that fires are going to burn whether we want them to or not. What we learn from cultural burning practices is that Native American communities have learned to use fire to their advantage. We need to also learn how to use fire to benefit society. I see a lot of hope in collaborative uh, partnerships where we find state and private funding in which people can work together to prepare the land for a burn. So do that thinning, take out the overgrowth and the underbrush, do that raking and piling and burning before you can implement a burn. I think that's key. I think people need to be educated about what the land looked like for many years.